but what's something you saw work in an academic setting for optimization and then you, you brought it over to the real world and you're like, either that doesn't work or it actually has like an inverse <laughs> impact. Yeah, I, you know, I've, I have talked about this point um, in my talks recently and I stand by it like the most interesting thing going from academia um, into industry is that our assumptions around how you would deploy Autotune are, were, were completely off. They, they were not in line with, with what you can actually do in production. So, you know, basically like a, a lot of the research around configuration tuning will say, okay, so you're going to, um, there, there's kind of two steps. You can either you know, deploy, for example, auto-tune um, on a, you know, a copy of, you know, the database copied onto, you know, very similar hardware um, where you, also copy the workload and are replaying the workload exactly as is. And this is actually really hard to do for a number of reasons. Like, um, first of all, we we did this at Society General because Oracle provides um, sophisticated software to be able to do this. And they like, even, even though we had the software, it was challenging because, you know, for, um, for really important databases, you actually have to go in and talk to like, the Oracle client to figure out a good time to capture the workload. There were a whole bunch of steps. I think it took over like a month to actually capture the workload um, and, you know, to be able to deploy it on different hardware. And this was at a large bank. So you can imagine that smaller and medium sized companies um, are not going to, to be able to deploy this. And further, like sophisticated software for MySQL and Postgres, that, that software needed to replay the workload um, exists in certain forms, but it's, it's not you know, commercial grade software like what Oracle can provide. So that that also makes it very difficult. Um, the the other option is, you know, the other assumption that we made was that you could deploy it in a development or staging environment. But what we actually find, you know, um, you know, in the real world is that the staging and development environments don't look anything like the production environment. So you basically end up just tuning the staging environment. And then when you transfer, you know, that setting over to the production environment, you're not getting nearly the same benefit that you, you know, saw in the other environment. So those have been the big, big issues.